Hey guys, so I just wanted to show you what I got in my goodies box, and I don't know if this is the October box or the November box. I'm not completely sure, but unfortunately, this will be my last goodies company unboxing, and um, they will be shutting the company down, and they won't be doing boxes anymore. Um, I did receive a kids box from them, and I just looked into it, and they are actually shutting that as, down as well. So I'm super bummed because this box was only $7 a month, and you got tons and tons of really neat goodies um, that you could you know try and test out and see if you want to purchase the larger version of them um, so yeah I'm totally bummed but I hope they bring it back we'll see um, but let's just get on with this and I'll show you my last um, goodies box so this is what the box looks like it is green and it's got you know the brown lid there that's what that looks like now let me just open it and show you guys what it's inside. See if I could do this one-handed. All right. So this is what the box looks like on the inside. And you can see it is full to the top of just all kinds of fun goodies. I'm so bummed. All right, so I'm actually going to be taking everything out one by one and showing you what I got inside. So let me uh, put the camera down. All right, I always try and work on like a white background because I feel like, I don't know, you can see the products better. Maybe you can't, I don't know. I just do it that way. Um, anyways, okay, first thing in here is this Happy Squeeze Organic Superfoods Greek Yogurt. And it is in the flavor, flavor Razzleberry. And it's 3.5 ounces. It's got this little twisty t top here. You like pop this off and you can just like, suck it off the top. I know that sounds really weird, but it's better than, you know, trying to find a spoon and then you got to wash the spoon and whatever. This is just a really cool way um, to do that. And I'll probably be giving this to my daughter because I actually don't like Greek yogurt. I think it tastes like sour cream and that's just gross to me. Like, I don't know, eating spoonfuls of sour cream. I haven't tried one that has flavor in it. So maybe I'll snag a little taste and maybe I'll like it this time. I don't know. All right, moving on. The next item in here is this Enjoy Life bar, and it's 100% natural decadence. Sounds delicious. And um, it is the S'mores flavor, soft baked bars, and it is gluten free, so that's cool. And um, for all you gluten free people out there, I know it's really hard for you guys to find like goodies that are like good but are also gluten-free. So I make a really good um, vanilla cake recipe that's gluten-free. If you guys want to know, I will let you know the secret. <laughs> but it's actually really good because I'm um, off, totally off subject. But one of my good friends um, has a gluten, she eats gluten-free. What's the, what's the word? Celiac. She's celiac. So um, I actually made a cake and stuff for her wedding. And I found this recipe, kind of stirred it up, made it, and it was so good. So... I don't know. Throw that out there. Okay. So anyways, this is s'mores flavor, which is really cool because this is like my favorite time of year. Um, you know, the fall where it's starting to get cold out and I live in Arizona, so it's just barely starting to get cool out. So I'm way excited. Time for like the campfires and you know, the, the s'mores. So super excited to try that. Next thing in here is this Cafe De Vida Enchanted Chai Spiced Tea Latte. Delicious hot, iced, or blended. And it looks like a one-time use there. And I do like chai lattes, so maybe I'll give this a try. I'm not big on hot drinks. Even in the winter, I'm like, I always get a cold drink. I don't know why. Just because it only stays hot for so long, and then it just grosses me out. So, whatevs. Um, I'll probably try this. There's that. Um, the next thing in here is this, um, I don't know if that's Goulian or Gylian. I don't know. Um, and it is ar artisanal, artisanal Belgian chocolates. Um, luxuriously rich and creamy Belgian chocolate truffles. That's a mouthful. With a signature hazelnut filling. That looks delicious. It, th I think there's two little guys in here. I don't know. I'll let you guys know. I'm not a huge sweets fan. 
just because I bake and stuff so often that I just, I don't know, I don't really like it, but I will sure as heck give it a try. All right, next thing in here. Oh my gosh, this is like sweets galore. This is a choco pie fluffy biscuit with marshmallow filling. And that's what it looks like. I wonder if it's like a cookie. Oh, it's really soft. Just kidding, I just squished it. So maybe it's like a cake-ish texture and then there's marshmallow in the middle. Obviously it's just one little guy, but it's that big, so. There's that. The next thing in here is this um, Kellogg's Special K Nourish um, Multigrain Blended with, I don't even know how to say that word, Quin quinoa, quinoa, quinoa. <laughs> I have no idea how to say that. I've heard of it before, but I don't know how to say it. Um, and the flavor is Maple Brown Sugar Crunch. And it has these little, um, I think that's like, is that walnuts or pecans? Some kind of nuts on the top. So there's that. Is it a cereal? I don't really know what this is. Oh, I think it's like a, like oatmeal or something because it's heating instru instructions. So there you go. But it's a decent little size. I mean, that's definitely a breakfast right there. So very cool. Um, the next thing in here, I actually have seen this um, in the kids box that I received, but this one's a little bit different. These are really cool, actually. I haven't seen these in stores, so I'll have to check out for them. But they're just a really neat little snack pack to throw in your kids' lunches. Um, this is by the Lunchables Company, and this is Lunchables Junior. And this is Blueberry Bonanza. And it has Cheez-It baked snack crackers, blueberry-flavored dried apple pieces, and mini Nilla wafers. So there's your wafers right there. There is your blueberry flavored um, apple crispy things. And then there's your cheese its And I can't remember what was in the kids one. I think it was, I think it was like peanut butter, peanut butter, and that's all I got. That's all I got. I don't know. I can't remember. It was definitely, there was peanut butter in there and then like two other things. I can't remember, but it's really cool. So. I had never heard of these before. See, this is what I'm talking about. This is why I like these boxes because you can see new products that you wouldn't necessarily know about, so. All right, um, then last thing, I think it's, yep, the last thing in here is this, oh my gosh, this is why everything is full of powder. I'm like, I'm dusting every single thing. Look at my hands. I'm like dusting everything I grab off and this is why. That's all over me. Okay, so this is, um, what does that say? I can't even read. It's all floured up. Anyways, it's easy make pizza dough mix. Add bubbly water, um, no kneading required, five minutes to mix, let rise, and then bake. 100% natural, simple, delicious, foolproof. That is super cool. So maybe we'll make pizzas this weekend. That'll be fun. And then it comes with instructions on the back, so... That's really cool. So you got yourself a little pizza mix here. That's making a mess everywhere. All right, and I think that is it. Let's see, oh, there's just the nutritional facts um, on the little choco pie biscuit thing. So all in all, really good box for $7 is what I'm telling you guys. I'm totally gonna miss this company. I absolutely love them. So this is these are a couple items that we got inside our box here. There's that guy, our little Choco Puff. We got our chai tea. And I was gonna put this in there. That's my daughter's uh, book. Um, the Special K breakfast thing. We got a little Lunchable guy there and then the pizza mix. So. All that, $7, awesome deal. I'm super bummed. Um, but yeah, thank you guys for watching. Make sure you guys check out my giveaway that's going on. It's the November giveaway. There's tons and tons of stuff in there. Um, I have an Urban Decay Vice 2 palette, some Too Faced palettes, stamping plates, all kinds of good stuff. And make sure you guys check it out, and I will talk to you guys soon. Bye.